Better health for everybody, every day. Transforming lives, three minutes at a time. Listen up. This is your daily health tip from The Good Company. Everybody, welcome back to today's health tip. It's Melissa Hall Klepacki. I hope this finds you well. But if it doesn't, if today you are not feeling your best as you're listening to this, this episode is especially for you. Today I want to talk about what happens when we have symptoms, when we don't feel well, and what we have been taught to do about that, right? We've been taught to run to the doctor with our list of symptoms or our singular symptom upon which they make a diagnosis. And I'm sure you've been there where you've gone to the doctor with a specific symptom like, I have headaches every three days. And they do a couple studies and just headaches alone. It seems to be the only problem. Maybe your lab work comes back normal. Maybe they've gone ahead and ordered a CAT scan and they can't see anything there either. And so you're sent home until you develop a second symptom or a third symptom. And now you've got a group of symptoms worth exploring that probably fit into a box somewhere, a box we call a diagnosis. So now you have a couple of symptoms and a diagnosis. Your next step is a drug. What's the drug going to do? It's going to mask the symptoms. So those symptoms, right, are your body's way of saying, hey, something's wrong. Hey, something's wrong. And if we ignore those symptoms or mask them with drugs, bigger problems happen. So now you've got a few symptoms, a diagnosis, and a drug to stop your symptoms, but that's only going to keep the lid on for so long. Because whatever is at the root of that problem, whatever caused those symptoms to begin with, is still there. So you probably get secondary symptoms. Maybe everything was neurological, and now you've got some gastrointestinal pain. So you go to the doctor, who probably then sends you to a specialist, who then diagnoses your symptoms and gives you another drug. And that cycle continues. Sorry, ignore my pee in the background. But if we get to the root cause from the beginning, if we identify the root cause and remove it, those symptoms go away. We're not masking or band-aiding them. They're going away on their own because the body has healed. So I want to, you to know that healing is possible. It really is. That is the way our body was designed. Our bodies know best. So it's our job as the keeper of these bodies to identify the toxins or the trauma or the emotions or whatever's stuck and to figure out a way to remove that, to remove the root cause so the symptoms go away. I hope that makes sense. I hope you're tracking that because it's such an important realization to have as a human being that we're in control of our physiology and our physicality And our job is to to stay healthy and stay pure and stay vibrant and stay clean in a toxic world. So find the root cause and the symptoms will go away. That's one path. Or ignore the root cause. Wait for those symptoms to cluster to give you a diagnosis. And then someone will be happy to give you a drug that will take all those symptoms away. Choose the first. Choose the first now and save yourself a lot of time. I see a lot of sick people who have waited and ignored their root cause. Feel free to reach out to me, guys. I'm over on Instagram at Melissa Hall Klepacki and over on TikTok, believe it or not, (laughs) at Melissa Klepacki Wellness. And I'm just there to share healing information to let you know it's possible to heal, to give you tips and tricks. If you'd like to work with me, please email me, melissa at thegoodcompany.com. My information will be in show notes. Stay well.